So, Werner, could you tell me how you happened to meet Max Ernst, who is the great hero of your career, right? It's true. I met him in uh, 66. And it was fascinating because I didn't have the right to meet him. Kahnweiler told me you never should write on Max Ernst, it's dangerous for you. And it was a painting of Max Ernst, The Temptation of Saint Antoine. It was in a gallery, Le Point Saint Cardinal, and I was admiring the painting and Max Ernst came out of the office and was looking at me uh, amused and I didn't tell something. I said it's not possible. I remember it's forbidden to meet Max Ernst for me. It's a temptation like temptation of Saint Antoine. A few days later, Frankfurt Allgemeine Zeitung asked me to write a page on Max Ernst for the 75th anniversary, and so I called him and he invited me. I went to Seyon dans le Sens. It was like we ever met. We, it was like we were old friends, it was fantastic. And the day after I stayed, it was for, that, for lunch, there came Marcel Duchamp, Man Ray, Ribemont de Seine. I ended a fantastic work with Max Ernst. And you met fantastic people like John Cage and... Yes, John Cage, of course. After that, with, with Max Ernst. And Copley. Ah, William Copley. Yeah, yeah. And, and we went together to New York, we went together to Germany. It was fascinating. To and how was behaving Max Ernst? Was he a bit crazy? Hmm? Was Max Ernst a, a bit crazy? How was he behaving? What, what was his way of living? How was he...? It was so poetical, Max Ernst. He was so... Let's say concentrated on poetry. He was reading every day in three languages in French, in German, English, poetry and natural history books like this. He was fantastic. But with you, you were young, you didn't know much. How was he with you? Hmm? How was he with you? With me? It was, I think, very happy to meet a young man who was interested in his work. He worked on his paintings because we have to say he was not so well known. Oh, really? Not so, not, not. It started later. He never had a, a big gallery. And the first exhibition I made with Germain Viard in yes. the Grand Palais, 75 in Paris, was a retrospective of Max Ernst. It was fantastic. And it was a discovery, really a discovery forever.